Hi guys, thank you for watching again. Today I will be showing you uh, how to uh, do an installation of Ubuntu 22 server uh, with Software Rate 1. So uh, if you'd like to see how that's done, please make sure to keep watching. Um, to get started, what is Software Rate? It's actually a way of uh, using multiple drives to, um, yeah, to create a mirror. Um, so yeah, we do Software Rate 1 and both of those drives have the same data on it written so every file you create will be created on the second drive as well and uh, so that means if one of the drives uh, breaks uh, you can just replace the drives and um, all your files will still be available so that's pretty nice so to get started on software rate one uh, you would need at least two drives for that um, you can also do it with multiple drives, more than two, but um, you would then go for other types of software rate. And in this video, we will only cover uh, software rate one, so uh, we'll just stay at that. Um, yeah, actually, uh, for this uh, guide, I will be using VirtualBox. Uh, I really like VirtualBox to uh, perform some tests, and uh, it's easy to show you guys. So I've already booted up my installation, so uh, I can start. At the beginning, we just enter our language and uh, the keyboard layout. We can just do default, default English. Um, we will choose Ubuntu server. We don't need minimized. That's uh, okay. So we have our Ethernet. We just have DHCP. That's uh, fine for now. Uh, we don't need a proxy. We can just uh, go on. The mirror address is automatically uh, filled in, so we can just go to the next page and this will be the page where we will do our uh, configuration uh, normally you will see the entire disk is used and LVM is set up but for software rate we will do a custom storage layout so we select that and select done now you will see I have two uh, hard drives of 40 gigs here they both have uh, 40 gigs free so to get started you will want to select your drive and say use this boot device uh, this will make sure that the appropriate boot partitions are created so uh, you will not have to do it yourself and we can also do that for our second drive uh, we will be creating a mirror so it's important that both drives can boot independently uh, so both drives are being used as boot device um, so that's set up correctly um, now we will add a partition uh, when you don't enter anything, you just get the max uh, available uh, space. So I will go with full space. And as format, we will do leave unformatted and create. Now we'll see the unused partition we just created. And we can also do that for the second one. We'll also select leave unformatted, create. And then we just have our two partitions here. Uh, then we go to here to the section where we can create a software rate or an MD device. Um, the name MD0, it's a general name. You can change it, but it's a it's pretty uh, pretty common name to be used. Um, the rate level you can select multiple, but we'll do a mirror now. Um, at this section you will need to select which partitions these are the two we uh, just created we will both select them and we go to create now you see the uh, MD device has been uh, created and as the MD device we can say format we will use xt4 but if there's a different file system you'd like you can also select that and we will mount to a root uh, so yeah, our, our root file system is uh, formatted in the software RAID 1. So that is actually it for the partitions. Now we can select done. Now I will just uh, ask for confirmation that all data will be lost on the drives. We can just continue. And now we will have to do some basic profile setup. So we'll do that Linux dude. Server name Linux dude. Then we will need to choose a password. And we can go on. You can choose to install open SSH server, so we can also SSH in our server. Uh, at this section you can choose some 
extra uh, features you want to be installed but at the moment I will not be using any of those so the installation has now been started and uh, I'll get back to you guys when the installation is finished so the installation has uh, now been, uh, been finished we can now select reboot and now we can press enter so the server has now been booted so let's check our new system we we'll log in with the user we just created So, if we want to check uh, our partition, we can use LSBOK. That basically lists block devices, so we will see SDH and SDB. Those are the drives we used or, uh, that were added from the virtual box. And uh, you will see below that, you will see an MD0 device, and that's actually our RAID. So, a great way to uh, check your RAID is uh, the command uh, NDADM. Uh, we can use it with the dash D option and then we will specify which uh, RAID device uh, for every device you first need to specify slash dev and then slash the name of the device and in our case that is MD0 so we'll specify that and then you will see we get all information from our uh, RAID device so yeah, this is uh, a lot of nice information. Um, you will see the rate level, uh, how big the array is, but also you will see the state, and the state is currently clean. That means that there are no issues, there's no rate device missing, there's no failed drive. So yeah, there was uh, the guide on uh, how to set up rate one. And uh, I hope you guys uh, like the video, and if you think uh, the video will, will be helpful, please make sure to subscribe. So you won't miss uh, any new videos and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.